Welcome to another episode of Virtualize Everything. Today's episode is going to be about adding a storage hard drive to Proxmox. We've done a similar presentation before with using USB hard drives, but some of your viewers have asked for a presentation about how to add a hard drive when it is not USB and it is internal. This would qualify for SAS drives, IDE if your system really still supports it, or SATA. SATA is going to be the most commonly used drive in home lab servers, as you probably already know. So the first step that you're going to want to do is identify the name of your drive. We're going to use the command lsb. LK to do that. And you can see here, shown in the picture in the background, that the drive that we will be working with today is going to be called SDB. So the next step is going to be to create a partition and format the drive. We're going to use some various commands to do this. The first command here, which you'll see me run in a minute in a video, is going to be ATP policy parted. Parted is the program that we're going to use to partition this drive and format it with ext4. But some tutorials of some of the reading that I have done preparing for this presentation have shown that it is already installed on the Proxmox server. I have never seen this happen. So you can really just skip ahead and use the apt install parted command and you might want to add dash y after it depending on your preferences. Now if it is already installed on your system you will just get a message saying that it's already installed or get asked to update it if you don't already have the most up-to-date version. So in the video, you'll see me copying and pasting these commands as I'm working from notes. There's the installation process complete. So now we're going to need to label the SDB drive and format it with ext4. These two commands will use parted to do that, let's watch a video of these steps taking effect. And you will need to type in yes here, just as I did in the video. Now it's going to be time to add the label to the ext4 formatted drive, which will now be called sdb1. In your case, it might be called something different. Refer to your lsblk command to find out what the new drive is called if you don't know. In this command, I am labeling the new drive storage. You can replace storage with whatever other command you desire. But no, from here on out, if you see the storage word used in the command, know that you're going to need to change it with whatever you called your new drive. Here is the process happening in my shell terminal. I was really confused at this point the first time I ran this as it seemed to hang there and I wondered what I needed to do. But just wait 
it will finish. Now you can see that using the lsblk-fs command, we get a printout with the drive now labeled as storage. You do not need to do this step unless you just want to verify that the name is changed to the name that you desire. This can help with identifying drives later, and this is the reason I have done this. Now I need to make a mount directory. I am going to make the mount directory at mnt slash data. You can make your mount location at whatever location you desire. And we need to add this line to our FS tab file. You can do that using nano etc FS tab. This will ensure that your new drive will mount every time you reboot your Proxmox server. This time, so we don't need to remount our Proxmox server, we're going to run the command mount a. And now you can see with an lsblk command that our sdb1 disk has been mounted to the mnt slash data folder. Now, here is a short video of committing the last step using the Proxmox web interface. In this step, we're going to add the storage drive to the Proxmox web interface so that we can use it for holding ISOs, VMs, or backup files. The first step is going to be to select data center, then storage, then directory. Now you want to type in the ID of the drive. I chose to call it the same as my drive label, but you don't need to. Then in directory, enter the mount location and then select the content dropdown selecting what you want to use. That'll be all you'll need to do to add the drive. As you can see here, my drive is able to be used for everything. I don't know if that is generally accepted practice, but it will work. And now you can use your newly added storage drive to do whatever you'd want to in your Proxmox server. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, or generally want to help virtualize everything in their endeavor to inform and educate viewers about virtualization and virtualization hardware, please like, share, and subscribe. As always, have a good night.